Okay, so today we got a little something. We got the uh, frame protectors, frame sliders. What's up, buddy? Uh, that are gonna go right here and here. So we're gonna go ahead and install those, and I haven't done this on this bike, so I'll try to walk it through the best I can. Dude, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, so in the kit we have, I'm trying not to get my fingers in the kit. kit we have, bolts, lots of bolts and then spacers. I need to look up how to do this. And then we have one side and two sides. So I think that these ones look the best versus like the uh, Evotech ones. Um, they kind of just go on. I think that this is actually for this side. Uh, no, no, they can just go right here. I think it kind of completes the bike. It makes it look good. Um, I don't think that they're going to like save the bike from total loss, but if it ever gets dropped, it should at least save some parts. Who knows? But yeah, let's get to it. Okay, I've gone ahead and moved the bike into the middle just so it's not up against the Trident. Um, so it says in the beginning um, to remove top engine mount fixing from the cylinder head, retain the fixing for use. Yeah, sure. So basically it's just saying remove the screws. Sure, I can do that. Okay, so we're gonna need the, they came with four bolts. I'm assuming that they're just replacements. These might be stretch bolts. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you need a T50 for these guys. Yeah, T50 for sure. So it's just these two bolts. I think it tells you to undo this one first, put that side in, have it kind of swing, um, just so that there's at least something holding the engine in. And then this one looks like a bit of a pain. You have to get back here. Oh, it's not too bad. Okay, you can, there's, there's room between the radiator and the exhaust, so I'm going to go ahead and put this one bolt on and uh, we'll get to it. Okay, went ahead and installed this side. Um, so it's very simple. This one doesn't require the like spacer or anything like that, this guy. So you take this one out and you take this one out. Uh, it is a 15 nut behind it. And what I did is I kind of went in back kind of like this, right? You can grab it if you just do it like that and then T50 there and it's pretty simple, but I think it looks great. It's on there and kind of sticks out. Like it should protect this, not this, but it should protect this. I mean, this is just a plastic piece. I really don't care. It's more so the radiator and the uh, actual engine cover, but I think it just looks kind of more complete with it on. Yeah, that'll do. Sweet, now let's go to the other side, which is the fun side that has the spacer and long, long bolt. Sweet. We are moving on to the left side of the bike. Um, so it's gonna go like that, but you can see that there is need of a spacer, right? So um, in the kit, I'll put this down right here. In the kit, it comes with very long bolt and then two spacers. So the smaller spacer, this one right here, long, small, uh, is gonna go on this one. So, and then the long one is gonna go on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Same thing as the other side. Um, it's pretty simple. Obviously the super long bolt is gonna go here. And then the shorter bolt is gonna go here. This new nut right here is just a replacement for the back. Yeah, you know, sure you don't need to do it. This bike is literally brand new, but if it comes with it, might as well use it. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, just to reiterate, so bolt goes in, then the small spacer, and then that, and then it just simply goes on in like that. And then it'll sit just like that. Big spacer over there, longer bolt, and yeah. So just wanted to show you, just in case you were confused. All right, so I'm a knob. Uh, uh, getting that bolt in the back is kind of a pain because it's pretty deep and you don't have a lot of room. So my dumb ass dropped it into the fan. And you probably can't see it, but I have. So now I'm going to have to take this, probably this bolt, and see if I can get it because it fell all the way to the bottom. And I know it's just sitting against the radiator now. Um, so that absolutely sucks. I don't know how much room I have, but I figured I'd just tell you because I'm stupid. So we'll figure it out. I'll be back when I get it out. Okay, and we're good. Uh, so I had to undo this one and the one on the other side, loosen the top ones, and then I was able to pull the radiator fan back enough and the bolt just fell right out. So no harm, no foul. Just a stupid little mistake, but just be careful when you're putting that back bolt in on the left side.
Um, so overall, I think it looks good. Um, I don't like that the frame, you can see it's like it's just silver right here. I'm not a big fan of that, but whatever. I really, you really can't notice it that much. Sticks out quite a bit, I'd say. Uh, definitely will protect like this part. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just think that they're cool and why not have them, right? Looks fantastic though. Okay, now let's go for a ride. Actually, before I do ride, do um, you remember how yesterday I was saying the uh, about this tail tidy? Right, how I wanted the one that swooped down but they didn't make the tail light yet? Well, they released the tail light last night. So, yeah, uh, I went ahead and ordered one of those just because I would rather not have these on the side. I'd rather have them up here. I'm usually um, the lead rider, so they'll they'll kind of know and I always we have our communicators or send us so I'll tell them when we're turning um, but they could definitely they'll be able to see it no problem um, up in there so I'll be making a video on that um, and then I said silver ice Diablo <laughs> last night this is silver ice <laughs> this is the Diablo part so it used to have red you could kind of see I, I suck at the night plus day but uh, this was red uh, these were red the back underneath was red and it's not anymore um, I'm gonna make a quick video on this bike at some point just to go over everything I did because there's a lot of custom stuff on here like you see there's no tire hugger plate and it's not underneath the tail so pretty cool but yeah this is silver eyes Diablo this is silver eyes I kind of wish they did red instead of orange just because that would have been like a cool but either way still cool so yeah actually okay I lied this is the last time then we will go ride so um I installed a USB cord I think this is like a six foot long one. It's super long. It's kind of, I kind of just tuck it when I'm not using it. Um, but anyway, it runs down here and it goes, follows this, this line goes into here, goes down underneath this little bracket thing. You have to unscrew two of these, it goes in here and then it follows into here. Um, and then you take this plate off right here. There's a little button like back here. You just use a pick, push in, pull out. And then there's like a bunch of tabs and there is like a slide tab here. This pops out. Um, you could, you'll be able to find it, the cable back here. So you can run it into here, down underneath, right underneath all this plastic. You take the seat off, which is the five mil or the six, I think in the back, pop this off. And then, yep, it just plugs in right in the back. It's super cool that these bikes actually came with a USB like port already built in. So forgive the wiring, but yeah, it's literally right in here. Just plugs in. So it goes down the left side of the bike into that and then I have this uh I have the bluetooth module but it's for the wrong bike I'm pretty sure 8989 who knows but it was supposed to be for the trident but I'd prefer to have it on this bike and they are interchangeable but I don't think that it worked on the trident to begin with so yep that's just about it oh all right I keep lying to you guys I do apologize about that um I do have the lowered seat um, I'm five, 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 six on a good day. Um, so even with this, I am, I'm on my tippy toes. I find that this is not as comfortable, but it helps for shorter riders. That's for sure. Um, there is a 10 millimeter spacer on the rear shock that you can take out. If you truly wanted to, I will not be doing that because I don't think I need it. Uh, it's just, it's 10 millimeters or maybe it's five. Might be 10, it's 10 millimeters. No, it's fine, whatever. Uh, but it throws off geometry and oh, I just wanna go fast. If this car will turn left, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you. And blast off, here we go. That feels much better. No, shut up, Siri. Now we get a Volvo wagon. 
at least that was a fun little spur. I don't know why, but my SIRI went off, like, right when I took off. Yeah, I don't want to say the word. Skyline. I miss that place. I really do wish that this was still open. I think somebody, or I think the person in the fit smoking a cigarette. I'm smelling a cigarette smoke. Man, it is gorgeous out today. Look at all this. Beautiful. Whoa, cool. I rode, uh, I rode up this, I went up and down yeah, the other day and going up is so much fun. Just cause it's like easier to control your speed when you go up that and you can see by the other side of the lane, there's barely, barely any people coming up. So you don't get stuck, even though I did. My luck, I get stuck behind the ambulance, which is slightly ironic. Yeah, stu no, well, I'd rather be stuck behind an ambulance than stuck in an ambulance. So, I got that going for me. These Amazon trucks are ripping. I do? Oh. Is it, am, am I too loud for you? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, but, yeah. Mine doesn't. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the benefit of having an aftermarket exhaust. Yeah, that, but that thing was loud as hell, and it definitely picked up the, uh, the volume. We're gonna be making a uh, right at this light. Yeah, turning on to Germantown kind of sucks because we have to go uh, against like across traffic. There's some rocks in the middle. Oh, it's a hog rider. I don't know if I should wave to him. Okay, I guess not. Dickhead. Fuck. Careful, this road is Nick Dicked right here. Like after when it lands, so I'm gonna cut in a little bit. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna cut in a little bit of this water. And here we go. Of course, it's always a shitty Subaru. Oh, I think my headlights just turned on. <laughs> uh, I think so. I don't know how to tell. <laughs> 